online gambling mogul Calvin Air is now focused on cryptocurrencies after resolving a five-year legal battle over a gambling business that he founded in the U.S. He's looking at opportunities in Bitcoin Cash and other digital currencies. He is the founder of the CoinGeek Conference taking place in Toronto right now. He's also Antigua's Bitcoin ambassador. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So why cryptocurrencies? What, let's just start right there. What drew you to this space? Uh, I already started investing in it back when it first came out, a couple of small investments, but I didn't really have it figured out. And I was introduced to Craig Wright in 2015, and he was able to connect the dots, and I realized what a, form, a transformative technology would be. And I was actually looking for another project after leaving the gaming industry behind, and uh, I just thought that this was one that fit me. I'd already been involved in creating an industry with, uh, with ga online gaming. Mm -hmm. And here, I'm not creating it, but I'm recreating it because I'm helping Craig get back control of the narrative in the Bitcoin space. And uh, it's sort of all just fit. And, and this one, I think, is a legacy project because it's going to allow me to create uh, technology that can have social good. And what do you mean by get back control of the narrative? What are we talking about there? Well, Craig invented Bitcoin back in, well, I mean, he'd been involved in it for a long time before he actually launched, launched it. But seriously, working on it for the last two years before the 2009 launch. Mm -hmm. And uh, he launched it under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, but then stepped away and thought that it would take on a life of its own, which it did. And the technology is still there, but it was hijacked by a number of different forces. Uh, I noticed in the introduction you used the name Bitcoin Cash, but actually the uh, branch of the Bitcoin platform that I'm currently involved with is called Bitcoin Satoshi Vision because it's the original Bitcoin following the original uh, economic model that Craig created. So Craig for finally had to come back and he got involved and uh, thankfully educated me. And so I'm helping to uh, do my part. And that is BSV, uh, which you are, that's, that's what you're working on. Correct. Just we know there's a big difference between the cryptocurrencies that sit on top of the blockchain uh, and the blockchain itself. But what's different about BSV from, some, from Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency? Well, BSV is Bitcoin. It's the original Bitcoin as originally invented by Craig. Okay. And that's it. I mean, all the rest of them are variations, so they're all basically So what makes coins. it different? Uh, what well, The main difference, if you want to look at it from a difference perspective, but I, I want to start by saying the main difference, of course, is that this is the original model that was originally created by Craig, yeah. and all other ones are variations that have branched off in some direction. But the main difference from a functional perspective is that BSV massively scales on chain and the rest don't. So it, it works and the others are dysfunctional, they're kind of hobbies, if you will, the others. This one is designed for enterprise applications. This one could become one that you could be as the, that's the complaint, it, and we're getting into technical areas yeah. that are way out of my reach, but the complaint about Bitcoin, as yeah. it's currently constructed, is that there's a limited number of them, and so Correct. Gets, you get this weird choppy volumes, and it'll max out at some point. Yeah. BSV did, never does? Well, there are a limited number of them, but they're almost infinitely divisible. Okay. So that's not what's causing the block, the, the, the weird kind of market stuff. A lot of that's just market manipulation by these tokens that don't have any real utility. BSV, as originally de designed by Craig, is designed to have real utility. It's designed to massively scale, and that allows you to build applications on top of it that do a whole bunch of things that weren't possible before. And the one, just like there's no need to have more than one internet, there is no need to have more than one cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency. platform. And BSV can do it all, and it's the only one that can do it all. There, as you just alluded to it, there are a lot of uh, unsavory players in this Correct. space. Um, investors who hype, there are people who short, there are, it's a, and there are, we've got to have seen exchanges that were fraudulent. I mean, we've got all kinds of trouble here. Yes. What, how do you, how, what do you say to investors who are like, I don't want anything to do with this, Calvin, because it's full of yahoos right now. Call me when it's, you know, when my banker says I should get into it. Well, first of all, I don't tell anybody to invest in a token as if it's a stock. I think that's caused a lot of damage and it's uh, just the wrong way to look at it. I, if people want to invest in this sector, they should invest in applications that work on top of a blockchain that functions, which today only means BSV because it's the only one that scales. So without scaling, it's dysfunctional. How do so, they invest in BSV? Uh, well, you can buy a token if you want, yeah. but I, as I said, I don't, you don't, want I don't promote that. Yeah. I, I want people, I want to build, not hold this whole nonsense concept about just the things uh, di they call it digital gold and if you buy it and hold it somehow magically you're going to get rich i think that's just nonsense what i wanted people to do is invest in building applications on top of bitcoin sv the only platform that scales massively today
This market is about to be regulated, right? We're seeing the exchanges facing new regulations. Yeah. It would be a good, a good development. Did compare it for me to, you pioneered the online gaming, got into an awful lot of trouble for your involvement in online gaming. Yes. It has also come a long way since Absolutely. then. Are there comparisons to be made here about brand new spaces and lack of regulation? Yes, and yes. Um, however, in my earlier industry, um, I was involved in uh, creating gaming and, and I was more focused on operations side and I wasn't really thinking about regulation and so uh, we saw what happened there. Uh, in this particular case, what I am is a big proponent of regulation. Mm -hmm. I actually want regulation and, and BSV, one of the reasons why I'm attracted to it is because it's actually been designed by Craig from scratch to be regulatory friendly. So in addition to massively scaling and being a stable platform following the internet model, so it's got stability enabling you to invest real application development on top of it, mm -hmm. it also is designed to be regulatory friendly. If BSV is successful as establishing itself as the, as you say, there only needs to be one, what happens to Bitcoin and all of the other variations that are splintered off? Well, I think in the near term, Bitcoin, BTC, can exist. But if BSV scales, continues to follow its scaling roadmap, there's just no need for any of the rest. So I think they will be absorbed into BSV. So they won't lose all their value? I think people will cross the cross. And yeah. be, I think everything will be absorbed into BSV, the dominant chain. Okay. You are also... Just, just like the internet actually absorbed other attempts right. at Splinter, creating... Splinter groups. Yeah, creating other types of uh, internets. You are also uh, an investor at a company called Squire. It is currently halted. It is a digital mining company. What is that? Correct. Uh, well, I'll give you the whole story. It's uh, The announcement will come out. It's halt traded right now. It's uh, trading symbol SQR. Uh, what I've done is I've taken my private mining business, which is quite massive, one of the biggest in the world, and I've put about 300 million plus US dollars of mining, actually hashing up and running mining equipment into the company. That will make me the largest shareholder of record and it will come back on stream, uh, hopefully by tomorrow morning and be trading again on the uh, Canadian Stock Exchange. And the concept is to create a company that complements what Craig is doing with Enchain on the IP and application side, it will be doing a complementary service on the to this to the entire ecosystem on the hardware side. So we're starting in mining, but we've got a lot of other plans coming as well. And what's the next stage of development for Squire? As you just put 300 million into yeah. <laughs> well, and, and by the way, that makes it the by a factor of four the largest publicly traded Bitcoin mining operation in the world. Uh, other things we're working on. Uh, we're working. I, I mean, I can't talk a lot about it, but we were, are working on technologies, both software and hardware, that are going to complement. Craig's vision with Enchain to make Bitcoin BSV the everything coin, the coin that does everything, transactions, runs the Internet of Things, has applications on top of it that people can't even dream of right now. And some of those applications are the ones that people are most, we, we, like, we already have currencies. We don't actually need a new currency um, unless you right. don't believe in central banks or governments. And I know some yes. people don't. But it's those applications. How far are we from the real kind of, because you can see retail banks going away it, with the right applications on the blockchain. Well, just to be clear, what I'm advising people to do is invest in applications that can be built on top of the platform ones that have business models that could not exist without the ability to do frictionless, which means extremely low cost microtransactions on the internet. Right. That's where I think the focus is. And that's where I tell people to focus. And we're having a development day at my conference right now, and that's a big area of focus there today. I just left it to come over here. Yes. But what, what you want to do is get a lot of people using it because they can do things that weren't possible without that technology. And then you let the technology, now it's in the hands of everybody because of that, and then you can just let the technology go where it goes. Thank you for being here. Calvin Air okay. is founder and owner of CoinGeek.